Welcome back to season two of the Crier Sportswire. I'm your host, Casey Shanks, and I'm here with Rowdy leader Bailey Pritchard, whose Rowdy section was just voted the best Rowdy football section in the state. How'd we get there, Bailey? Take us through it. We all just love supporting the football team and dressing up for all the themes and going out Friday night and seeing them play. So I think we all just had a good time and we're rowdy and loud. When's the next time we can get rowdy and loud on the football field, Bailey? This Friday is a home game against Hinsdale South and we're going to be wearing camo and gold. We hope to see you all there. Now let's kick it into the sports world. That feels more like it. Welcome back to the Sports Wire. These are indeed strange times. Andrew Luck has retired from football, Popeyes is selling out of chicken sandwiches, and Ben's not here anymore. But fear not, I have a new host, Gio Baje. Hey guys, I'm excited to be hosting the Sports Wire. I have Casey Shanks here. Um, let's get right into it. Uh, tennis won their first match, 6-1 uh, against Yorkville, and Piper Shefferman won her set 6-0 and 6-1. Casey? Gio, let's take it out of the pitch for the first time this year. Boys soccer unfortunately lost their first game against St. Charles North, 2 to nothing. But the boys hope to bounce back against Hampshire on August 28th. The golf team plays first place at the Cadet Invite. Knights held all the top five places, so good job to them. Go Knights. They also had a win over LaSalle, Peru, and a win over Wheaton Academy, and placed second place in the Limestone Invite. Uh, Gio, that's going to wrap up the sports coverage for this week. But we want to make sure the viewers know to tune into Twitter for Athlete of the Week voting soon. And make sure you're at that football game wearing camo or gold. Gio, it's been a pleasure. We'll see you guys next week. week.